Heavy rain and high winds hammered California's central coast overnight, triggering mudslides and forcing road closures. Authorities near San Francisco say one person was injured after a tree fell on this Tesla. Up to eight more feet of snow could fall in the Sierra Nevada mountains, where homes and businesses were buried in recent storms. The California National Guard and CAL FIRE have been dropping hay to cattle down below who are stranded in the snow. And at this school, the gym's roof collapsed under all that weight. People are now rushing to clear their roofs before the storm adds more weight to the snow. Rain on top of snow can make it up to 10 times heavier, and some of the most significant accumulations in this region are expected for just these communities. It's why authorities are telling me there is major concern for flooding and additional roof collapses. In Southern California, the death toll is expected to rise after back-to-back -back blizzards devastated mountain communities east of Los Angeles. The San Bernardino Sheriff's Office now says at least 13 people have died since the first storm. Some of these people have been homebound for 11 days. They've run out of food. They, in some cases, don't have power. They don't have their own generators. The atmospheric river hitting California will move east into the weekend, threatening the Rockies, increasing the avalanche danger. In Utah, authorities say one person was killed and another injured in an avalanche yesterday. It comes as forecasters track a different storm system, bringing more than six inches of snow to the Chicago area, moving through Detroit and Cleveland today and into the northeast tonight. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.